I'm gonna do two different ways, and I'm fully like I, I can believe. I'll show you one of them, and you'll be like, really, really. I hope by the time I show you the second one, you'll be like, okay, I accept this, right? So, how are we gonna do this? I want to make two triangles, okay? And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six spots to choose from, okay? Now, what this is a little bit like is about seating two groups of people, right? Two triangles, two groups of people, okay? Now, I want you to think, look at how this is arranged, right? I know, I know there are like gaps and that kind of thing, but this is a circular arrangements question, isn't it? Like they are literally in a circle, okay? So therefore, on a circular arrangements question, the first thing I have to do is I have to fix someone in position, okay? Now, obviously all of these points are going to get used in, some, in one triangle or the other, okay? So let's just say, let's just pick a spot, okay? I'm going to make that one of the vertices in one of the triangles, okay? All right, now I need to complete this triangle. I need to complete this triangle. I've already picked one point. I might just say fix one point as one of the vertices of the triangles. To complete this triangle, how many more vertices do I need? Two. And how many options do I have to choose from to get those two? Five. Choose two points to complete that triangle I've just mentioned. And you said there were five to choose from, and I need to choose two of them. Well, this looks like a sad <laughs> It does a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm going to say equals. Uh, it doesn't change. It. It's, still, it's still sad. Okay, so this is, this is my number, right? Now, if you want to think about it this way, I've now sat down one of the groups, okay? And they've made a triangle, okay? Then the other group, the other triangle comes along, okay? Now, does it matter where they sit? It doesn't matter where they sit for the reason you said to me right at the beginning. That order doesn't matter. These three guys come along and they've just got to occupy whatever's left over. Like suppose this is what I get out of the 5C2. This is one of the ways, right? And then you've got one, two, three. There's only one way to form a triangle with those, right? Only one way, okay? So I've fixed one point, chosen two. So I've made the first triangle. The other triangle has no more choices. Does that make sense? So therefore, number one, I've got to pick out my six vertices in the first place. They're my green things. And then number two, I've got to choose a triangle, choose a triangle, and I'm done. So this way of doing it is to say, in summary, what's my total? It's 12 choose six times five choose two. Does that make sense? Or times five choose two times one, okay? Um, I believe five choose two is 10, 10, uh, and this number I think is, it's, it's big, it's gonna be a big number. Like this was big and this is further in, closer to the center. Can someone tell me what it is? Uh, it's 924 times 10 times one. So there's my number, okay? Now maybe you're not convinced by that, that's okay. Aaron, you have a different pair of numbers there. You've gone about it a different way. Do you, are you confident enough to explain how you did it? If you're not, I will. I'll try. Yeah, give it a shot. Give it a shot. I'll be your I'll be your brain scribe. Okay. What would you like me to do? So uh just draw any triangle on the from the six points. I'll just do this one? Yeah. Yep. So uh for each triangle that you have, there is one other triangle that corresponds with that triangle. Mm-hmm. Yep, keep going. And so just looking at the red triangle right now, mm -hmm. there are six C three options for that. Okay, pause. Six three six C three options to draw this triangle. Do you see? That's exactly the same problem I had up here, right? It's just that I've got less to choose from. That's why it's six C three, not twelve C three. So so far so good. Yeah. So there are six three three options for the first triangle. Keep going. Um, and so, as you keep counting through all those six C3 options, right, <coughs> you will reach, so for example, in that example right there, mm -hmm. you will reach an example that, so the, the red one is now in the position of that green one. Mm -hmm. So just put, did you catch what he just said there? This is one instance, this is one instance of, um, of the six C3 options, right? And as I keep listing out all of the options, eventually, one of those six C3 is going to be this guy, right? Does that make sense? Yes? Okay, keep going. Yeah, and so because that, that means that now you have overcounted for that. Yes. 
and pause. Help me out here. How much has he overcounted by? Double. He's exactly overcounted by double because of what he said before. This red one already makes this dotted green one one of the triangles. It's already been chosen. And this will always be the case for every single one. Oh. He's exactly doubled up. Does that make sense? So this overcounts by a factor of two. Right? Do you want to finish it off? Is there much more to add? Uh, so then the total would be your first one is 12C6 yep. times your 6C3. Yep. And because you've overcounted, you divide by two. Perfect. Okay. 12C6 is still 924. 63, oh, coincidentally, is 20. Yeah. And you still land on your 9,240. Not bad, huh? Okay, so if, if you ever struggle to convince yourself of something, like, you're, I think I have an answer, and very frequently you'll be like, hmm, not sure. Try it again. Think about it some other way. That's the hard part. And then see if you can convince it. If you get different answers, then you're like, no, 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 no. Something's wrong here. It's one or the other, and then you can keep on going. Well, there's another type where you would do the, do the thing your way, and then somehow manage to get more ways than the first question. Okay, yeah, okay. Other ways of like knowing that you've done something wrong is when you um you've clearly exceeded, you know, like I the different conditions two. you've got. So you're like, oh wait, I'm, I've got more options with more restrictions. How does that work? Okay. Alright, now I'm rapidly running out of space. Let's have a look at part C. It's got two parts to it, which are really it's two two halves of the same question, two sides of the same coin. Have a look. It says, um, in how many such pairs, you know, these are all the pairs we can get, right? 9,240. Uh, in how many such pairs will the triangles not overlap and part two overlap? Okay, now do you see why? What was the clue that told me, oh, these are two halves of the same question? Conjugates. Yeah, uh, there's another word. There's, yeah, oh. Complements. Okay, well, Sorry. conjugates, uh, you get the idea. But these are, it's like you're either this or you're that. Whatever those are, all of the, it's, you know, like, like this, you know, back from CERDs. Those are conjugates, right? Uh, you're thinking about confidence though. Anyway, that's okay. These two combined should be this number. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay, now just for the sake of time, um, rather than get you to have a think about it, I will show you the way that I thought about it and maybe you can come up with another way, right? You remember I said, have you look at these six circled points, the ones that I've chosen, right? They are kind of like a new version of the original problem, just smaller. Okay, so with me, I'd like you to replicate just those six points. Just draw me one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's just imagine now I have chosen those six. So the rest of the circle doesn't exist to me. Okay, these are the options I'm choosing within. I'm going to do a couple more and you'll see why in a second. Okay. And now I'm on a mission, right? Here, I was just like, put your triangles wherever you like. But now I've got some conditions for these, okay? So how can I arrange my triangles so that they don't overlap? Have a look. When I chose these guys over here, right? You notice I chose these guys? There was no choice. They had to overlap, okay? Um, there are only a very small number of pairs of triangles that will not overlap. Let's just draw one. Where would you like me? Let's call these um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Someone want to give me three numbers that will form a triangle so the other triangle won't overlap. Any numbers? 1, 2, 3, and... Yeah, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 is all I need, right? Because once you've got that triangle, right, the other three points have no choice, so they have to be 4, 5, and 6. Great. I have two non-overlapping triangles. Can someone give me another one? Yeah. 1, 2, 6. One, say, say it again. One, two, six. One, two, six. Okay, so that's up the top and down the bottom. Very good. Okay. Can someone give me another one? Yeah, okay. So if I go one, six, five, that's this one, but the other way, right? So one, six, five, like that. That forces two, three, four to be the other triangle. Okay. Now, when you have a look at these, they do look cool. Um, Surprisingly, surprisingly, that's it. Go ahead and try and find another pair of triangles that don't overlap. That's all the ways, okay? I guess the way I would describe this now, trying to get this back to the language of the question, right? Is, um, I'm just gonna squeeze this in. Part C, part one. To not overlap, right? 
The triangles, and remember, I, I numbered these, right, just to try and get my head around and describe what's going on. To not overlap, have a look at the qualities, the attributes that all of these arrangements have in common, okay? Just think about the green triangle, for instance. I have one, two, three. There's no way I could have done one, two, and four, all right? Can you see one, two, and four is gonna cause me a problem? Why? Because, yeah, that's right, you gotta get, someone's gotta get to three, and two and four have blocked the way, right? You see that? So the problem is, if you have non-consecutive numbers like one, two, four, one, two, five, or one, two, anything else, you're gonna be in trouble, right? So to not overlap, we need consecutive numbers, but I'm gonna add one more thing, right? Because this is a circular arrangement, right? Uh, consecutive numbers but might be like one, two, three, uh, two, three, four, four, five, six, right? But, but, um, six, one, two is this one, and that was okay. Six and one are not consecutive numbers, are they, okay? But in this circle, they are. So you can say this in a bunch of different ways. You could just say consecutive numbers in a circle. There is a more specific word for this, which is that these numbers are concyclic. They are on a circle. That's literally what concyclic means. So to not overlap, we need consecutive concyclic points for each triangle. And there's only three ways to do it. There's only three ways. Um, you can see, once you, if you want to picture this guy, this green one, he's kind of like spinning clockwise run around the top. You see that? He's here, and then he moves up to here, he moves down to here. If he were to rotate one more time, he'd be back to here, right? You see that? Um, in exactly the same way that Aaron mentioned before. It's like, you've already done that. You've overcounted. Okay? So therefore, we know there are 12 C6 ways to pick the, three, the six points. And then within those six points, there are only one, two, three ways to make sure they don't overlap. That's it. Okay. Wait, um, so why did you yeah. do this? Why did I do this? Yeah. Because I still have to pick out the points for the triangles to inhabit, right? Oh, so I've, I've still got 12 to begin with, okay. and then I pick out my six, and then I form my triangles. Okay. Um, come on, we can do this one. That's to 27,772. No, 27, Done. Okay. Do I need to answer part two? No, it's 9,000. Yeah, it's, it's all the other ones. It's all the other ones, right? So it'll be 9,240. Take away all the ones that don't overlap. Every single other one must overlap. So that's why it's the answer to part two.